Hey guys, Adam here back in the AeroWorks workshop and today we are knocking out the second seat in the Super Duty. We've already got the first seat installed and so we're going to go ahead and run through a little bit of uh, how the seats get installed using the adjustable rails, talking a little bit about the instructions or the lack of instructions and let's get these things going. All right guys, well the uh, seat installation instructions are covered under two sheets here. One is C75-SSO-2 and C75-FA-8. Now FA-8, excuse me, FA-8 pretty much covers the seat pan and the seat back and it shows you here the uh, cotter pin and washer you'll need to assemble that. Of course it's kind of self-explanatory as far as drilling out that for the cotter pin. Um, but one thing you'll notice with both of these, uh, and this covers a sliding seat option, which on the Super Duty, I believe it comes with it. It may have been an option on the Cruiser. But you notice these plans are for, for the Cruiser. It says Cruiser right on here. CH75 Cruiser, and same thing here, Cruiser. So, you know, some things are different. We're not installing nut plates in here and things like that because we don't have this bottom in there like that. We have the two beams in the front and back, and we're bridging that with um the adjustable rails and then our seat pan from this sheet mounts directly on top of there so there are some slight differences also the rubber washers that i talked about in the video are listed here that's this 41 uh 63 these are these rubber washers you'll actually use eight total per side because you'll have four on the bottom of the rails four on the top of the rails and then eight on the other side as well, so a total of 16. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, prepping the final seat pan, which is basically consists of drilling out the four holes to the bolt size and then attaching it to the adjustable rails. All right guys, the bolt that we're using to attach the seat pan to the base is an AN5-6A, and that's shown right here. And I apologize for the uh, run and gun camera here but sometimes you just got to do that to get the point across so basically the seat pan you'll see the two large holes there those are actually going to fit over these pivot points on the bases so once you get that in there like that and like this and it looks like i got one of the rails out of whack here so i got to take this off really quick bear with me because i've got this rail slid back further than this one all right, let's try that again. So, there's that hole, there is that hole. So you can see here that the seat pan sits on top of the rails and teeters on these two, uh, we'll just call them pivot pins on the hinges themselves. But you can see they don't, they don't sit flush because of the nature of the design of these seat rails. You can see here how this is higher than the pieces here. So that's where those additional rubber washers come in. By adding the washers to the front and back, you then essentially give a level uh, playing field and a level spot for that seat pan to sit on and bridge over any inconsistencies in the rails. So before you do that, you do have to come up with a way to tie in your adjustment uh, connector, crisscross it over to this one because obviously when you pull this handle here, you want to be pulling both of these at the same time. They do give you a wire, uh, a little standard wire that came with the hinges right here. Um, I got it to work on the first one, but I saw in some online pictures somebody just taking some really small aircraft cable and making up a custom one, and I think I'll probably end up doing that. But just for the purpose of getting this working, uh, on the other one... Um, I pretty much just connected this, let's see which way did that pivot there. Yeah, I pivoted it off this back one and then I crisscrossed over to one of these here. So basically as this one goes in, this one, this gets pulled like this, this disconnects there and this disconnects here. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get this on there and then we will start bolting those on. But first thing we have to do is with the exception of the two large holes that are already drilled in there, the other four holes, which are here, 
here, here, and here have to be drilled out for that bolt to go through. So that's what we're going to do next. Well, we got all the holes drilled in the seat pan. Now it's just time to get it back in the plane. All right, I've got my four bolts and washers. I've got my rubber pads on over the welded in lock nuts. So it's just a matter of setting our seat pan on top of the washers and getting these bolts started. And of course, matching up those two pivot pins there too. So one thing I'm pretty sure is that on the Super Duty, you know, with these holes being pre-tapped for you, I'm sure that's a lot easier than it's been in the past where you've had to mark these holes up, figure out where they go, you know, lift it up, lift it down. So in that respect, the Super Duty kit has definitely improved in the fact that uh, these holes are ready to go for you. You just have to open them up a little bit bigger. Okay, once we get all the four bolts through the rubber washers, just a matter of snugging them down. And right now I'm not doing full, full installation because I'm sure these seats are gonna come out several times. I'm just kind of getting all the parts in place so I know what I'm working with. Okay, well I've got the four bolts in there just loose. I don't want to jam the, uh, the lock nut all the way down because it's uh, new. Uh, but basically the seat pan is on there. I have adjustability here. So I can slide this forward and back and lock it into place. I can fold the seats down, both sides. And there we go, we've got seats. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, you know, this is a quick, simple project. It's probably a little half-day project you could do. So if you get hung up on something on your build, you know, maybe take a step back. Maybe pick a smaller project because it'll get you re-energized to get back on the bigger picture, which is getting your airplane finished. But sometimes you need to actually just see something get done. And that's kind of what I did this week. Got these seats started, got them done. They're actually ready to have post to be put on them if I need them to. So I got I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment uh, down below it all that stuff helps doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and until next time uh, we'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching guys.